these kids have been waiting for eight months to play games. And if you get enough guys that you can dress to play healthy and you're going to try to play. And that was, you know, our mindset all along when we heard potentially we weren't going to have guys available to us. We were going to say, okay, well, we're going to find a way to get enough, you know, in there so we can play. Let's not kid ourselves. If you look around sports and you look around, you know, it's this is what's happening. You know, you're you're going to be in position sometimes where you don't have full lineups and you try to make the most of it. This was a challenging week for us because of, uh, you know, the short bench because of all of the players that weren't able to play. And we asked a lot of the guys the last two nights. A lot of guys are going to get some opportunities that they might not always get. And so, um, I think that's definitely something that we can embrace and kind of step up to and then see what we're made of. and put home by Linus White Fox. A weekend that we have to learn from and put behind us now and get ready for the next weekend. We might be playing with the same amount of players next weekend. So that's what the season's going to be all about. If you want to play and you want to want to do well, um, you got to face the challenges and figure figure ways out on, on how to uh, you know get wins and be productive as a team. Talking about blocking shots, yeah. who do you think the main focus of this story is probably about? Uh, definitely Tyler and Moto, 100%. His diet is just eating pucks on a daily basis. Even in practice, he's he's always dieted in front of pucks. Guys are giving him a hard time because he gets hit all the time. <laughs> Sometimes it, it it's pretty questionable whether the pucks like a magnet to me or something, but I don't know. I just seem to be in the right spot at the right time. Ever since I was a kid, I I, I enjoyed blocking shots. You know, doing whatever it took to help the team win. So. Uh, you know, it's definitely a mindset. You gotta, you know, be a little brave to get in front of some slap shots, some hard shots. You know, he's gotta be in a ton of pain all the time, just eating all those pucks. And, you know, those don't feel good when you block shots. And I can't imagine what he goes through. You know, the ones that don't hurt, I enjoy it, but there's some that, you know, <laughs> you wish that you could take back and, you know, maybe block it with a part of your body that was a little more protected. But, you know, I, I take pride in, in blocking shots. and. I guess you can say I kind of enjoy it, yeah. Puts his body in harm's way and is there to, to back any kind of mistakes that are made, and uh, he certainly has everyone's back on the team in terms of eating a puck. I honestly don't understand, like, how someone can eat that many pucks. Like, I don't know what his blocks per game average is, but it's probably around, like, four or five. Like, it's crazy how much and like how much he sacrifices for the team. There's definitely techniques and uh, my, my parents always tell me that like, oh, you look like a, you're playing knee hockey out there. Uh, growing up at the hotels, I'd always try to be the goalie and you know, block the shots. So uh, I think definitely I, <laughs> it's a little technique from knee hockey, but then, uh, you know, uh, Coach Osiki's been teaching us how to properly get in front of it. So it's technique and then a little bit of a, just winging it. There is a technique, there is a timing. Uh, but there definitely has to be that inside you that, hey, I'm going to get it done. I mean, you know what? Guys feed off it. You see him doing it, a couple other guys do it, and then all of a sudden your whole team is doing a little bit more. Blocking shots, especially in, in this atmosphere that we have now uh, with uh, COVID going on, you know, you need as much uh, energy as possible to, to be gained. And, you know, we get that through hits, through block shots, through scoring goals. So I think uh, now more than ever, it's, it's playing a, a major part in our team and, and gaining energy. So I think if we keep that up throughout the year, it's, it's gonna pay dividends.